Sup guys, Amber the Hammer. I'm going to show you the biggest mistake that most people make when doing a deadlift. The problem when most people do a deadlift, they don't do a deadlift as, they're, as though they're working the glutes. You guys want to develop your glutes, your hamstrings, the muscles that develop and, and, and gain power within the body. These are power muscles. The problem is most people when they're doing the deadlift are working their spinal erector muscles, their paraspinal muscles, so the muscles that extend the spine. And I'll explain to you in detail. I'm not going to get into all the details about every every different variable of the deadlift, but I'm gonna show you this one in particular. If you wanna see more about the deadlift, search on my YouTube channel, you'll find a lot more videos about how to execute the whole movement. Um, when most people do the deadlift, the problem is, is they do too much spinal flexion and extension, right? So here's a bad example of someone doing a deadlift using too much spinal flexion and extension. They hinge down a lot from their hips, so they end up more parallel to the ground. I don't want my body very parallel to the ground. I want my body upright as I'm doing the deadlift. I don't want to come down here because the lower I go and the more that I decrease the angle from my, my chest to the floor, the more extension required when I come up. So the more my body has to extend when I come up, which means that I'm using a lot more of my back extensor muscles. The deadlift is primarily the glutes is what we're trying to accomplish and strengthen when we're doing it. So we want to activate the glutes as much as possible. We want to utilize the glutes as much as possible and eliminate the synergistic muscles. Now the way we're going to do that is by keeping the chest upright. We're going to hinge at the hips while keeping the chest upright. The second that I start going down and bringing my chest lower to the floor is the minute that I make it harder when I'm coming up and I'm gonna feel my back a lot more when I'm coming up. So chest upright, and as you can see, I'm pushing my hips that way, behind me. I'm not pushing my, I'm not going down like a squat, I'm pushing my hips that way. That's how I'm gonna get my glutes engaged. That's how I'm gonna flex my, my, my uh, glutes my hamstrings, and then when I come up, I'm extending the knee, I'm using my glutes, my hamstrings, primarily for the lift. So keep in mind, the less that you come down when you're doing the deadlift, the less synergistic muscles that are gonna be involved, the less back extension that's gonna be involved when you're coming up, which means the only muscles that can work are the glutes, are the hamstrings, are the quads. We don't wanna depend on those back muscles if we're trying to work uh, the glutes. If you guys want to do the deadlift that way, then do a Romanian style deadlift, or sorry, uh, uh, a good morning is probably one of the better exercises. So throw the bar up over your back and bend over and then come up. That's a lot more of back extension. So we're trying to work the back muscles to do that. But because we're trying to work the deadlift, we're trying to work the glutes, look how my chest stays nice and upright as I go down. I don't go down like this and I'm not using a lot of my back, all right guys? That's the number one tip when you're doing the deadlift. I know most people that come to me and that I work with have a hard time utilizing their glutes. A lot of people, if you walk around and you have no ass, chances are you're not doing the deadlift properly. So if you wanna grow an ass, you wanna build an ass, you wanna build the power muscles in your body which essentially come from the glutes, the, the power muscles, because when you get into full flexion and then you come up into extension, that's where power is generated. So from here to here, that's all power. So the quicker that you're able to generate power, which is the transfer of energy, is the more power you're gonna have during these lifts. So try that out, incorporate that, make sure you know post a video or watch a video of yourself doing it so that you can see you're doing it properly. Um, look in the mirror when you're doing it or have a friend spot you. As always, push yourself to success. Comment on the video. Tell me more of what you guys wanna see, more technical, more corrective exercise, more motivational stuff. Whatever you guys want, I'm gonna post it. Like the video, subscribe. Do all that, guys. Follow me on Instagram, at Amber the Hammer, Team Hammer.